Hey guys, uh, Ben Tate here for Tuts Plus, and we're back with part 8 of our Tasmo series. And as you recall, in the last part, we constructed the outer tank here at the back. Uh, now we're going to tackle the inner tank, which sits inside this piece. Uh, and if we take a look at our reference images here, uh, let's just see, maybe this one. Uh, you can see the tank just kind of floats on the inside, and it sits on these stops that we have in the back corners. Uh, we also have the filter here that kind of uh, sits in a hole at the bottom of the inner tank. Uh, we'll see if we have another picture here. Let's try this one. And yeah, we can see it pretty good here. Um, so the detail is pretty similar to what's on the outside uh, piece. Uh, it has a little bit less detail on the inside, but uh, I think rather than making this from scratch, we'll just use a copy of the other tank to uh, kind of tweak it to make the inner tank for us. Uh, there's really no point of us starting that from scratch if we can get away with you know cloning a couple pieces here. All right, so let's go back into Max here. And we'll grab the tank, and let's maybe hide everything else for a second. So I'm just going to hide and select it. Let's maybe jump into the top view here. I'm just going to switch this to top. Let's turn shading off F3, and we'll turn off the realistic shading. Okay, so we'll just start with the clone of this, and let's go up to Edit, down to Clone, choose Copy, and let's name this Inner Tank. Okay, we want to make sure it's in the same location here. And we'll probably get rid of some of the detail at the bottom here, as well as some of the top. Uh, but first, let's maybe just scale it down slightly here. All right, so we're going to go back to the top view. I'm just going to go down to scale at the bottom here. Let's click on the scale tool first. Okay, and we'll just go down to the x-axis here. I'm just going to scale this down a bit on all three axes at the same time. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it in. Maybe something like that. Let's do about 95 or so for starters. Okay, you can see that's a lot closer uh, to the edge here than it is on the side, so we're gonna have to tweak that a little bit. All right, let's see if we can just bring it over a bit more to the side. So let's right click on the scale tool. And let's see, let's bring this down on the Y axis. Whoops, not the Y, the X. Just up a bit on the X. I just want to kind of even things out here. Let's do around 97 or so on the x-axis. Okay, that'll give us a pretty even gap uh, going around the inside here, so we can close this. Okay. Let's jump into a side view here. I'm just going to switch this to the right view. Okay, essentially we don't need any of this bottom stuff here, so let's just chop this off maybe quickly. Let's delete our turbo smooth here first. You can also delete the turbo smooth on the outer tank temporarily. Okay, reselect the inner tank. Let's go to polygon here. And let's actually add one more edge through here first. So we grab these edges here and connect it. Let's do one segment. Uh, and you can see it's a little bit twisted. Let's make it planar on Z. There, I'm just gonna bring it down a bit. Something like that. Okay, that's about good for now. So now we can go to Polygon. Uh, make sure you have Ignore Backface and turn it off when you do those. And we'll just select all these bottom polygons and delete them. Okay, we also don't need to have that hole at the top, which we can take care of in a minute. Okay, don't worry that it's uh, sticking right to this piece here. We'll fix that up later. Just so want to make sure we have the shape correct and the size right. Okay, so let's uh, get out of Polygon here. We're going to select the outer tank and hide it. All right, we just want to work on one piece at a time here. Okay, and you can see this is going to need a lot of work here to close this bottom up uh, properly. Uh, we're going to have to kind of do it in two shots, uh, one on the inside, one on the outside. Uh, but first, let's get rid of this little scoop here that we have. We don't need that. All right, so let's see. Let's select this again. We'll go back to Edge. And yeah, let's go over here where the, the punch is on the side. Let's loop this edge. And this one, holding control. Okay, I'm just going to control backspace those out. And let's see, we can probably get rid of these ones as well. Let's loop this edge and this one. As well as the same two on this side. Okay, so just hold control and loop those. And control backspace them. And we'll just adjust the verts here in the front view. 
Okay, so backward vertex, grab these verts here. And we'll just pull those up and kind of line it up with the other ones. And we can move this one up like that. Okay, that'll remove that little dip that we have there. We'll do the same thing here with these side holes. Uh, we don't need these on the inner tank. Uh, so we want to get rid of these. All right, so I'm going to zoom in in the right view. Go over to polygon. Grab my select tool there. I'm just going to select all the polygons around this hole. Okay, now I'll do that on both sides. And we'll just delete those right out. Now I'll just close it up by going over to the border, grabbing the borders here and here and capping them. Okay, and let's maybe just connect up a couple of verts here. Let's grab this one, this one, do a connect. Same thing on the inside. Connect those. And over here on the other side, connect and connect. Okay, I'm just going to cut this uh, down vertically temporarily here. We're going to need this center edge. We can take these other two out after probably, but let's cut this across right now. So I'm just going to turn on my vertex snaps and cut from this vert to this vert on each side. And we'll do the same thing over on this side. This one to this one. And let's spin around here. Uh, this one to this one. Okay, we'll turn off cut, turn off snaps. All right, and we'll get rid of a couple of these edges here. So let's go back to edge, grab that one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so each edge on the side, each side of center. Do a loop on those and control backspace them out to get rid of the edges and the verts. Okay, so they'll clean it up a little bit for us. All right, let's maybe see if we can close up the bottom here. Um, I think it'll be easier just to do one uh, part at a time. So let's do the inside here. I'm just going to go over to border, select the inner border, and cap it. Okay. All right, and we're going to need to you know support this at the bottom here so we can smooth it out. So let's maybe start this by grabbing this big polygon here. I'm just going to zoom in a little tighter here in the corner. And we're going to do an inset here, and we're going to get some overlapping uh, where these support edges are, but we can fix that. So let's just open up inset. Uh, let's do it uh, maybe around two and a half. And we'll just adjust the verts here. Let's also chop this sucker in half. Uh, we don't need to do this on both sides. All right, so let's go into the front view. Could grab all the polys on the left side of center. Whoops. Just the left side. Okay, and we'll just uh, actually... Let me connect this through the middle first so we can actually delete half of it. All right, so I'm just gonna grab those two center verts there and connect them uh, so we can delete the polygon on that side. Okay, so we have everything on the uh, one side of center there. We'll just delete it out so we can work on half at a time. All right, so now we'll go in here and we'll clean up some of these verts here. All right, you can see we have a couple overlapping here on the corners. Uh, so let's go to vertex. I'm just gonna grab this one here and move it down on the y-axis. Okay, I'm gonna space it out a bit here so we don't have to worry about overlapping that corner vert. We'll do the same with this one. Move this back on the x-axis. And the same thing over here. This one this way. And the other one, if I can select it. This one, back this way. Okay, you can use the edge constraints if you wanna uh, maintain the uh, edge shape here. Just move this one back a bit. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now we're going to need to start connecting some of these up uh, to get quads in the bottom. And before we do that, let's just see if there's any edges here we can get rid of. Uh, we have two really close together over here on this corner. Uh, let's see where that goes. All right, let's uh, maybe loop this edge here. Okay, so just loop that edge and we'll pull backspace that out. And over on this side, let's see, we have ones here that are really close together that we don't really need. Let's maybe take out this one right here. Okay, that edge there. Uh, we don't need that one for anything, so we'll control backspace that out as well. And I think we'll leave the rest for now. Okay, so now what we need to do is kind of connect these across. Uh, we can do that in the top view, it might be a little easier to see. All right, so go back over to Vertex 
and we'll just select the inner vert here at the bottom and the one here and connect them. Okay. Now you can do it in perspective if it's easier to see, so let's just do that quick. Right, I'm just going to use my keyboard cur uh, shortcut for connect, uh, but you can just grab the button over there if you want. Okay, so just do a pair at a time. Okay, and we'll just work up to this point here. And we're going to have to do something with this corner. Let's maybe connect this one here to this center one. Okay, it's going to be a little twisted, but that's okay. We'll fix it up if we need to. So let's do this one here to this one. Okay, I'm just going to leave these ones. I think we'll come this way uh, with those edges. And same thing over here. All right, so now that we have those in, we'll go the other way. So let's grab these edges and this one, and we'll do a ring and a connect. Okay, we'll just do one set, uh, segment in the middle and make planar on Y. And we'll just pull this over and line it up in the top view with this edge here in the center, like that. And then we can connect these two up, this one and this one. Okay, we'll just repeat the process here on each side. Okay, so I'm going to ring these and connect them. And for this one, let's just do one edge again, make planar on Y. It's going to turn on my edge constraint here. I'm just going to slide this over, right? And we'll line it up with this edge here. Let's do another one over here. Another ring, another connect, make planar on Y. And we'll just pull this one over to right about there. Okay, and we'll just connect these uh, pairs up. All right, so back to vertex. Grab those two, connect, and connect these two. Okay, we're gonna need one more uh, right through here to get a quad in this corner, so let's do that. We'll just ring this edge. One more connect, and make planar. Great, right, let's connect this one across. And we'll do something similar over here. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit different just because of the topology. Um, Let's maybe add a couple of uh, edges through this section here. So it's going to bring those edges. We'll do two segments. Okay. Let's loop this one here and make planar just to straighten things out. I'm going to slide this over like that, line it up with this bird here, and we'll move this one over as well. Okay, I'm just going to check it out on the top here. And it definitely doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so now we can just connect this vert to this one, okay, which is the corner ones here. So we'll connect that across, the same thing here, this one and this one. All right, and we're not gonna have quads here because we have these uh, support edges coming down. And we could easily, you know, uh, connect this around like this to this one over here. And this one could go up and this one could go down. Um, we might do that later, but I don't know if this is really gonna give us any problems uh, when it's smooth. So I think we'll just leave it a little bit more simple and see if we have to fix it later on. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good for now. 